no particular order, but these are actually the things. <laughs> um, number one is I really want you to write a business plan and I'm not talking, I actually wrote a 75 page business plan for Learn Bass. I wrote it nights and weekends when I was 23 years old. Nobody ever asked to read it. It wasn't something that I would show other people. I'm sure it was like had a hundred spell, you know, grammar and, and you know, it wasn't beautiful, but it was me getting everything out of my brain into one document. So I would recommend you write five to seven page business plan. What are you trying to build? Why is it different than competitors? How are you gonna obsessively make a customer happy? How are you gonna grow? Think about the chapters of your company. What's chapter one? And I'll use something simple. Are you starting with a cupcake shop? And that cupcake shop's then gonna become a full bakery. And then that bakery is gonna become a catering business. Um, you know, for all of New England. And then, you know, you can, you can think through the chapters. For LearnVest, it was content and then tools and then advice. And that's kind of how we thought about it. So think about the chapters of your business and put them down on, in, on paper. And the reason I really recommend that people do that is um, when you are actually running the business, you don't have time to sit down and do thoughtful days of strategy. So putting that down, like that blueprint, that 75 page business plan, Eric, became something I'd actually go back to. Hmm. And when I was like, okay, how did I think about this going to this? I didn't have all the answers, but it, I at least had deep thinking about my own business as opposed to being like, I'm just going to go start a cupcake shop and we'll see where it goes from there. It gave me a better rigor of thoughtfulness and I knew the competition, et cetera. So that's part one. Part two uh -huh. is I want you to then go find the five smartest people in your life. And we all know who these are. They're the really smart people around you and go run your business plan by them. Go tell them what you want to do. And do not go trying to convince them why you're right. Ask them to kick your butt. Tell them all, ask them to poke every hole in your strategy, every hole in your vision. And mind you, this is part of like step one of getting good at feedback. Lean into that. Lean into when they criticize your idea. Lean in, let them tell you what they think is so stupid and ridiculous. You don't have to agree with them, but they're, they're going to be pointing out some things that future investors will care about, that future business partners will care about, that future people you're hiring are going to ask you and you need to know the answer. So really let them shred your business. And if they truly are sitting there and they're like, I, I don't even have one criticism, go find somebody else <laughs> um, because you want them to really criticize you because what they're doing is building muscles of you making the business better. Um, and then the other just quick things I would say is absolutely hire a good lawyer. Um, you get what you pay for, get a, a lawyer from a real brand company, um, somebody who can do your legal documents. You don't want to set those things up messily because it will come back to haunt you and have a good accountant. And that can be an hourly accountant, but again, from a reputable firm who's a CPA, because those are the places you can create a lot of complexity and a lot of problems for yourself if you don't do them from day one properly. Mm -hmm. Um, so again, those are kind of my basics. And the final thing I, I would say is have people like me um, that are years ahead of you who have done it before, but that you can become friends with that you can say, Hey, can I get two minutes of advice? And you'll find those people really want to pay it forward because they, I had so many people who were so kind to me, Eric, when I was just a young puppy trying to build a business and I had no clue what I was doing. Um, and what you'll find one day is you're going to get really good at running your business. You're going to get really smart about making your business better because you're surrounding yourself with like a board of advisors of people that you collect over time who keep making you smarter.